So I was just messing around and thinking about five hacks for trading futures. So here's what I got for you. For one, S&P futures in front of you. We can never look at anything in isolation. Things are expensive or inexpensive only relative to something else. Think about real estate. You can't compare real estate in Montana to real estate in New York City. Obviously, New York is going to be expensive relative to Montana. If you look at them very generally, if you're looking at real estate, New York, you have to look at comps in the direct area, same as if you're going to be in Montana in this example. So S&Ps, don't just look at S&Ps in isolation. Is it expensive? Yeah, it's high. That doesn't mean it's expensive. Always look relative to something else. Think or swim. Compare. Compare it to the other futures indices. Now, without going through each one of them, if I just pull up the Dow, YM, you don't need it on the left axis. Okay, apply. Okay. On a daily, you can see the Dow in the, in the pink and the S&P in the yellow. It appears if we just do look at one against the other, the Dow is expensive relative to the S&P. So maybe if you're looking to trade from the short side, you'd want to sell Dow. If you're looking to trade from the long side, maybe consider buying the S&P rather than buying the Dow. Number two, always, 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 weekly highs and lows, daily highs and lows. I always look at these, they're very, very valuable. And as you can see today, the high 2806, the low 2793, yesterday's high 2809, the day before 2808. So you see pretty much the same level and then backed off right at this level and now they're gonna try for the bottom. Okay, yesterday there was a uh, little bit of an outside day, took out the high, but the low is above the low. So now we're gonna go and this low is gonna be the first support. Always look daily highs and lows, weekly highs and lows. The next little hack is gonna be when you're trading oil futures. Oil futures, CL, oil trades on a curve and the curve goes out three years. So right now, if I look at oil, December Z, 2008, it's trading at 6076, okay, 6076. If we look at the front month, the March contract, it's trading $4 higher. So I'll give you even a better example. If we look at the front month contract, which is March 2018, minus CL December 2020, the difference between these two contracts is $9. So right now, the front month oil futures is trading 64. This contract over here, two years out, is trading $9 less. 54, right? So think about it. In two years, the front month oil contract is going to be this, right? December 2020. So right now it's trading $64. So what needs to happen is either oil needs to trade off significantly from where it's trading right now, or the contract that's two years out needs to rally significantly. This is something very important to watch. So when you're trading oil, you want to look at the oil curve. I talk about bonds a lot. Same thing when you trade bonds. If I go ZT times five minus ZB, that's going to be twos against thirties. You want to look at the relative difference between those two. As it's trading lower, the two year rate and the 30 year rate are getting closer and closer together. It's really important when you're trading bond futures to look at the shape of the yield curve. Is it flattening? Is it steepening? Okay, so the first one just to go over them is going to be look at things relative to one another. The S&P against the Dow, S&P against the NASDAQ, Dow against the NASDAQ. Number two is always look at those daily highs and lows, weekly highs and lows. 
Number three, you're trading oil. Look at the oil curve. Four, look at the bond curve. Here's another one. Let's go back to oil. We have CL, right? But we also have Brent, BZ. Very important to understand the difference between these two. You can see Brent is trading up to 69, $6, $6 higher. Understand the contract that you're trading. Brent BZ is going to be oil found in the North Sea. CL WTI is going to be US oil. The difference between CL and BZ is the difference between US oil and European oil, oil found in the North Sea. Now, with equal supply and demand, the US oil is going to trade a little bit more expensive because oil is shipped in the United States by rail rather than by boat like it is in the North Sea. So Brent is $7 higher and it's cheaper to move the stuff. So not only is it more expensive in price, it's really more expensive because of the, trans, uh, of the ability to transport that oil. So those are going to be five quick oil uh, future hacks to help you play around with them. Always look at things relative to one another. Just be really careful when you're trading anything with a curve that goes out because you need to look at what the price is next year, two years from now, three years from now. It'll give you a lot of color on the possible direction of the present day future price. Thanks a lot guys. Jonathan, Active Day Trader.